I don't like dogs that duck out of me trying to put this on them, any collar, this one in particular, because I use it so often. I don't want them fighting me and playing keep away from it. I also don't like dogs when I take the collar off that pull their head back and rip their head out and like use it as an expression of freedom and then they, and they're off running and I go, well, I don't even have a hold of you anymore. So I don't like to like turn this into a f um, opening up floodgates type thing for the dog to just free, free run. So what, the way I do that is by just getting them so used to you taking things on and off. But I want her to get used to this idea of we don't jump up, we don't misbehave. We're gonna get stuff that is gonna go over our ears we're, I'm intentionally rubbing on those ears a little bit and pulling it out and she's not and if she does go to rip out right now She goes oh, I got nowhere to go. So that's a good way for her to realize He's gonna take things on and off on and off and it's just an exercise. No, no So when I go to put my dog on lead, I don't want the dog jumping up on me I don't want the dog ducking a lot of times the dogs duck and don't want to get put on lead I don't want her coming up and jumping up either. No, no. So the best way to do that is not to practice it in the moment when you have one or two chances to learn it. I'm gonna have 10 chances, 15 chances, 20 chances, no, for her to jump, for her to realize that this thing goes on, it comes off, it goes on, it comes off. It doesn't necessarily initiate running. It doesn't initiate fear and avoidance. Good, that was a good one. Good. So I just, this is something you can practice all the time. No, I don't want to turn it into a game of nip and bite at it. No, there, this is real good. No, don't do that. Do that. Good. 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 So just on and off. Good. Get one more good one. No, no, good, and then take it off, good, good.